Hey, 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 hey. I did do it like that, yeah. Whoa. Any road. Okay. So, on my turntable, I currently have the VMN 95E elliptical bonded stylus. Now, I want to upgrade it to this, which is the VMN 95ML microline nude stylus. Nude! Put your clothes on! <laughs> um, I'll explain the difference between nude and bonded later on in the video. Now, the good thing about the 95 series uh, is that you don't have to change the cartridge in and out. You can just change the stylus. It's very easy to interchange. So all you need is a stylus and it's very easy to do. So this is how easy it is. No messing with alignment protractors and all that nonsense, okay? So first thing I do is clamp down my tone amp. Um, if you haven't got a if clamp on it, you can always tape it up. If you don't clamp it down, when you take the head shell off, it flips up, yoink. Okay, so it's best to keep it clamped down or taped down with a bit of masking tape. So you just loosen off the head shell. Just by unscrewing that there. Okay, pull that out. There you go. I'm gonna take the protective cap off and as simple as, okay, just literally pulling that off. <laughs> and that's how easy it is. Okay, let's put the other one on. Just be careful not to touch the end of the stylus at all. Just be aware not to touch it. Okay, and it's a little ridge there which fits into that gap there. Okay, line it up and push it on. Make sure it's on nice and tight. Okay, stick. Let's stick the cover back on just to protect it. And push that back in there. Okay, and tighten that up. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, that's on there. Now there's a, there are a few variations of the 95 series. First of all, you've got the conical, which is the VMN 95C. Uh, it's the least expensive and most widely used st uh, stylus type. It's got a spherical tip um, and it tends to touch the center of the record groove walls. So it tends to work best in moderate to lower price and older record players. But it does have a higher tracking force than most um, styluses. So it may cause a little bit of wear or more wear than say an elliptical or a micro line. Then you've got the VMN95E and then the VMN95EN. Only difference between the two, one is bonded, one is nude. Now, personally, I wouldn't go for the EN. I would, if I was gonna upgrade from the 95E, I would always go for the ML. I'd skip the EN if I was you. It's pointless getting that one. You'll hear a difference, but not much. So the 95E and EN, they're an elliptical styli, and they have a front radius, and a side radius and this allows it to ride in the center of the groove like the conical stylus but the smaller side of the radius can accurately track higher frequencies compared to the conical so it follows the grooves of the record with more precision and providing a better frequency response then you've got the one i've just upgraded to the vmn 95 ml now this is a microline stylus and it's good because it duplicates the shape of the cutting stylus used to produce the original master disc which records are made so this, this enables it to track portions of the groove other style I can't reach. Uh, the result is an extremely accurate tracking of the high frequency passages. And it also lasts longer than the, the previous versions. The last one then, you've got the VMN95SH, the Shibata. Now, I haven't used the Shibata, uh, so I can't comment on it, but apparently it's a very good stylus. Um, and that's probably about another 20, 30 pound more than the ML. Um, so the lifespan of these styluses, the conical I think is about 400 hours, four or 500 hours. The ellipticals only last 300 hours. I say only, it's quite a bit, but it's still 300 hours. Uh, uh, and the Shibata is 800 hours, and I believe the ML is about 1,000 hours. So that's what Audio Technica say on their website. So the ML is gonna be the last, la longer lasting one. And then you've got bonded and nude. So nude is, is, is the superior stylus. 
So in a bonded, or you can call it jointed if you want, uh, stylus, uh, a diamond tip is glued onto the metal shank. So it's basically just shoved, stuck on to the metal shank itself and then glued into the hole of the cantilever. And this is uh, less expensive to manufacture and uh, it can increase the overall mass of the tip and affect transient response compared with a new stylus. Now, with a nude stylus, uh, it's shaped from whole diamonds. Obviously, this is gonna be more costly than a bonded. Um, but because of their lower mass, the nude stylus track more accurately. So this is why I've gone for the ML. It's a nude stylus and it's a micro line. So you're gonna get better frequency response, uh, better detail from the record, or I hope anyway. So one, what I'm going to do now is to uh, do a comparison between the two stylus, or styli, styli, okay? And, <laughs> um, and I'll put a link here and in the description box below, and I'll pause this video in a sec. So you can go off and listen to that and come back to this video. So make a note of the time, okay? You can come back to this video uh, and then, uh, so I can let you know what I think, okay? But I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think there's a huge difference, hardly, hardly any difference at all? I'd really like to know, know your thoughts. Anyway, I'm gonna pause the video right now. Okay, so what do you think? Um, so my personal opinion was just a, a, a very slight disappointment, not because it didn't sound better, because I thought it would have sounded better than it did. I thought the gap, I thought the gap between the two would have been more of a, a gulf than a little gap. Okay, the ML is better, far better. Oh, I say far better. Uh, I found it was a bigger sound stage, better stereo separation, more detail coming from the record and a cleaner sound. But it wasn't night and day. It wasn't like, wow, blow me away, you know. Um, so it makes you question whether, is it worth spending the extra 110 pounds um, from the uh, 95E to the 95ML. Is it worth it? Is it? Well, I think yes, it is. Because the, 90, the 95E is around 30 pounds now. And the ML, I think I got it, you can get it between 130, 140. I got it for around about 140. So I spent an extra 110 pounds than buying a, a, the 95E. But you've got to think about this. It lasts three and a bit times longer. So if he was to buy three 95Es and a little bit, you're probably looking at a hundred pounds worth of stylus, okay? I've only got to pay an extra 30, 40 pound then for the ML to get that better sound. And I know it's not an enormous better sound, but it is definitely better sound. And let's not forget, it could be the record I was playing just wasn't, you know, wasn't produced as well as it should be. Maybe the grooves wasn't pressed very well, I don't know. But it was definitely better, definitely an improvement, um, but not huge. But I'd still buy it just because I haven't got to worry about it now for another thousand hours. Great, okay. And I get better sound. So everyone's a winner. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's coming to the end of the video. And again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you like the video, there it is. Give it a like, go on. It does help promote the video, move it along. Much appreciated. And you can subscribe if you want. You don't have to, but subscribe, yeah? <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.